Hi everybody and welcome to our May newsletter. I thought I'd just get out and about and uh, down in lovely Cronulla uh, just to, uh, to kind of just get out of the house for a while because I think everybody's probably feeling just that little bit uh, claustrophobic um, during this time. So I thought we'd go out and uh, give you a quick welcome um, with something a bit nice from the background here. Uh, hope you're all safe and, and well uh, during this time. We've got an action-packed newsletter for you for May. So uh, please take time to have a look through it. A couple of things I wanted to highlight. We had our first virtual event uh, last uh, month and it was a huge success. So thank you to everybody involved behind the scenes, uh, live during the event, and obviously all of you for joining us um, and making it such a success. Uh, we've got another one coming up, of course, I'll tell you about that in, in uh, May. But we did actually do a bit of a survey. So thanks to Margaret and the team for putting that out. 45 of you responded, which was fantastic. What we learned from that is that um, the preferred duration, about 51% of you said 60 minutes. So we'll maybe look in June at uh, reducing that a little bit. Um, some of the topics, which was great, that you would like to hear more about was setting up an online course, which you'll be uh, great to know is part of our one of our topics for a presentation in our May event coming up. Um, marketing in a crisis was a good one and we do have a panel on that. Sales techniques, social media optimization, and also how to run a webinar. So, so there's some of the topics that we, we take on board and find how we can share more information with you on those. What day and time works better? Well, you told us uh, quite, uh, quite uh, good it was, 12 till 2 p.m. on a Tuesday, which is exactly what we're doing now. And the Q&A session that we have to be about 20 minutes. So we're gonna try and keep that down to 20 minutes. Our next national virtual event is coming up on Tuesday, May the 12th. So I hope you can join us for that, make that one a huge success. Uh, we have again live from the US a couple of fantastic presenters. We have Mequessa Petway CSP, who's the Zoom queen. So if you've been using Zoom like most of us have been, uh, she's gonna share with you some, some insights into how to use it even better while we're still in the, uh, the COVID lockdown. Turn Your Content Into Cash is our next presentation from Molly Wendell CSP. And that's all about online courses as you asked us to put more on about that. Make sure you join us for the chapter hugs. Great success in April. Let's make it even bigger success coming up. And don't forget, you can attend any one of those state chapter hugs. So make sure that uh, you use that opportunity while we're in this virtual world that we're kind of living in. Talking of which, Zoom Unlimited, we still have about 10, I think, licenses left under our current program, 297 including GSC. It works out to be about $50 and you can run your own webinars if you haven't already branched into that kind of stuff, your own webinars and large events up to 500 people. Speaking for a crisis is continuing. My thanks to, of course, Russell for doing a fantastic uh, uh, event for us uh, with his accountant around the surplus packages and uh, a bunch of other things. Oh, sorry, the stimulus packages that are happening. Um, so that was a fantastic uh, uh, innovation for you guys to join an initiative there. We're doing um, a fantastic one coming up in May. So my thanks to our educator of the year, uh, that's Ian Stevens CSP and also Glenn Capelli CSP, are putting on a, a fantastic series of events, the first of which is starting this coming Thursday. So make sure that you do it. It's free for all members as part of our Speaking for a Crisis um, initiative. It's all about uh, exercising your methodology muscle, getting that muscle happening, getting your methodology happening. Off the back of the success of Stoolies, um, you can find out more about uh, that event and how to register for it uh, in this particular newsletter. Make sure you join and support that and thanks to those guys. Uh, finally, a couple of updates for you, GSF. Uh, welcome Spain. We now have PSA Spain as part of our wonderful global network and they had their inaugural convention recently virtually of course in Barcelona They had a round, round table summit style event attracted over a hundred attendees. So that was a huge success NSA New Zealand and uh, APSS in Singapore uh, have been working closely uh, in uh, working on how we can collaborate more with uh, With our friends and other associations outside of Australia They'll be joining us as well for the national virtual event, which is awesome that we're kind of reaching out our of Australia as well. Uh, I also meet the GSF presidents. We're getting together on the 8th of May. So finally, uh, the National Board is looking for EOIs, expressions of interest. If you would like to join me and the wonderful team that we have on the National Board, uh, have a consideration, have a look in there about uh, if you can give more back to this wonderful organization, PSA. We have uh, three portfolios. Each board member now has a portfolio that they're looking after and being accountable for. And those portfolios that we do need to uh, ask for members to consider joining us for are membership, membership growth, and business development. So if you feel you could uh, add more to PSA at a national board level, please let us know. Well, that's it. Enjoy the newsletter. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon for the national virtual event in May.